Hey guys, welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm going to be going over a question I had myself the other day, and that is, what is the best weapon to train strength with? Uh, it's pretty standardized when you're training attack, you're just going to be using a whip and a defender, and you're pretty much good to go. Now when it comes to strength, there are a ton of different options for training the skill. Some of these weapons will be better in certain scenarios, uh, but I'm going to be looking over what is going to be the best overall weapon for training your strength. Now I have a couple weapons here today. I have the Dragon Scimitar and Defender combo, a very common weapon for training strength. I have the Ceridoman Sword, the Abyssal Dagger, as well as the Abyssal Bludgeon. Now a couple honorable mentions are the Ceridoman's Light. Uh, but I'm not going to be including that because that is a degradable weapon, although I think it may actually be the best weapon for training strength, but it's like 50 GP per hit. Uh, so it's not really great for AFK in the spot. And another one is the Staff of the Dead. I don't have that one. It's not the absolute best for training strength, but it is worth it if you do happen to have it. Now as far as gear goes, I don't have a maxed out account, uh, but I will be keeping all the gear the same between all the tests, so there shouldn't be any variation on that. Now as far as stats go, I have 75 attack, 77 strength, and 75 defense. So these XP rates are not going to be the highest possible that you can get, but I'm going to be tracking the differences and the percent between all of them, so you'll be able to see how much better certain weapons are than others. Last up, I will be using the special attack as often as possible if it's applicable. If not, I won't be using it. Anyway guys, let's get started and we're going to start with the Dragon Scimitar and Defender combo. Okay, so coming in first is the Dragon Scimitar and Dragon Defender combo. Now the main benefit of this setup is GP wise, it's extremely cheap. Uh, the Dragon Scimitar is only normally like 70k. Uh, that being said, it does have the highest quest requirements because for one, for the Dragon Scimitar you're going to need Monkey Madness and for the Dragon Defender you will have to grind uh, at least 4 or 5 hours at least usually to get it. Uh, but beyond that is the cheapest setup. Now as far as XP per hour goes, uh, on my stats and gear I'm currently getting about 73.5k experience an hour. Uh, which is pretty good comparative to how expensive this item is. Now I was using the special attack. It's not a huge uh, deal breaker if you don't use it. I wouldn't bother using it if I was just AFKing. Uh, but I was doing it just to get the most uh, maximum amount of experience possible in the hour. Okay, next up we have the Ceridoman Sword. And this was the item I was using for quite a while. Uh, so it costs about 1 mil. It's not breaking the bank or anything. And the XP per hour is better than the Dragon Defender and Dragon Scimitar combo, but not by much. It's about uh, 76k an hour, between 75 and 76k an hour for me. So I'm going to say 75.5. So that's only about 2k extra better an hour. So it's worth buying, especially considering it has no requirements. Uh, you will need 70 attack, however, to wear it. So the Abyssal Dagger is next, and it's clocking in at about 79k an hour, uh, which is I'm not really sure what to expect from this. It is good, but it's not substantially better than the Dragon Scimitar. Uh, definitely worth it if you have the money. The Abyssal Dagger currently is about 7 mil, so it's not as expensive as the Bludgeon, but noticeably more expensive than most other weapons. But it does definitely pay off for the investment. And another benefit is that there are no quest requirements to wear this item. Uh, the special attack is definitely useful and does increase your XP per hour. It's pretty much the same as the Dragon Dagger special attack. And coming in last up is the Abyssal Bludgeon. Now this is the first time I've gotten a hold of this item. Now I do admit that the Ammonite Crabs are possibly a little bit of a limiting factor for this item. Uh, there is a couple seconds of downtime, but it's not substantial. Now I'm getting about 83k an hour with my current stats with the Abyssal Bludgeon. Uh, so again, it is a increase over the Abyssal Dagger. Now it does cost 31 mil, so my personal opinion is it's not worth buying unless you're actually going to use it on a crush task because it does have a huge crush bonus and is the best crush weapon in the game or you're just rich and getting this extra bit of uh, XP per hour isn't an issue. The special attack does actually increase your hit based on the amount of missing prayer. So the whole time I was at zero prayer although I do kind of feel like it was a bit lackluster. I didn't really hit anything too substantial of notice. Uh, but this is the weapon that does give me the highest max hit, so it is kind of fun in that regard. Anyway guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, my conclusions are, uh, each does have merit, although as soon as you can I would upgrade from the Dragon Scimitar Dragon Defender combo for strength. 
uh, because for one, if you don't already have it, it does actually take a while to get just doing the quest and the requirement for the defender, and two, it is outclassed by every single weapon here. At the very least, upgrade to a Sarah Sword if you have the extra cash laying around, because it's really not that much. Even when checked, it's only like 7RK right now. It's been crashing uh, for the last year, pretty much. Anyway, guys, that's it. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to toss the video a like, and I will see you in the next video.